So welcome back to the Ride Along channel. You're joining me up here right at the top of Alpe d'Huez in the heart of the French Alps, just shy of 3,000 meters after a, quite a long tour to get here. Where right now I'm going to show you how to check the four settings you should be checking on your transceivers every single time you go riding. I do exactly the same checks whether I'm out with my buddies like we are today or whether I'm guiding a group around the mountain and off for the whole day off-piste adventure. The same four things need to be checked every single time. Check number one is your battery. As soon as you turn your transceiver on, it's gonna give you a battery readout. Make sure your battery is always over 80%. It's not that during the day you're gonna use 80% of your battery at all. If you're not gonna use anywhere near that, your battery could actually last for a long, long time. However, when the battery starts to drop, the range that it can send and receive a signal starts to drop as well. You want your battery giving out and receiving maximum possible signal. 80% or less, change the batteries. It only costs a couple of euros for a fresh set of batteries and it can save your life or save the life of your buddies. Check number two is the search setting and what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep mine in its normal send as this is in my pocket riding and I'm going to get everyone else in the group to turn theirs to search and make sure they can find me. We're gonna do it at roughly the same distance away, although it's not too important to start with. As long as they can find me within a few meters on their, on their transceiver, that's a good starting place to be at. So check number two, the search mode with one of you staying in send. Check number three is a distance check. Now I'm gonna keep mine in send for this because mine was already in send just before. All of the rest of theirs are still using theirs in the search mode. All I'm going to do is ski away from the team very, very slowly. On their transceivers, they should see the numbers increase, increase, increase. And as soon as I drop signal, as soon as their transceiver can no longer read where my transceiver is, they're just going to give me a little wave. And then they'll make a mental note of how far that distance is. And what we'll find is that each transceiver is slightly different. What we'll also find is that we'll probably go in and out of signal a couple of different times as the different antennae within the transceiver pick up or lose the signal as I start to slide away. So check the distance. That's the third thing to check. How far can you actually search and find someone? There's a wave. There's a second wave, cool. So now we can all register. That's how far I can be found about, which actually a bit further than I thought. That's good. We must, well, I changed my batteries this morning. I'm thinking the other guys have changed their batteries very recently too, because that's a good long distance that this is working from. Probably, it's tough to see from the camera you're looking through just there, but it's probably about 25, maybe 30 meters. Check number four, the final check, is the send setting. So everyone who's just checked their distance puts theirs back into their pockets, back in the send setting, zips everything up and they're ready to ride. Me being the leader and being slightly ahead of the group down the hill, I'm gonna flick mine into search mode. I'm then gonna have them ski towards me one at a time and I should see their signal appear on my transceiver so I can make a mental note of my distance check. I can also check mine works as search mode and then they can ski past me. As they ski past me, I'll flag their transceiver just to make sure my flag button works as well. That's the fifth and extra little bonus check you could do if your transceiver has one. And on that note, if it hasn't, it might be time to start looking at a new one. The flag setting, which cancels one of the signals, is a really useful one if there's multiple burials. If, uh, God forbid, if you have to actually get caught in an avalanche and you have to go and search someone, if there's more than one person there, you can find one and mute that signal, flag the signal, and then carry on to find the next one. So check number four is the send signal. Everyone with their kit packed away, I'm gonna ski ahead and flag them off as they come past. Once everyone has come past, we then check the four settings, the battery, the send, the search, and we know roughly the distance that we can send and search from. We're then all zipped up, my transceiver goes back into its normal send mode, into my jacket, and we're all ready to ride. That's it for today. Time to go down and smash some powder just behind us and have a nice little ride. 
Thanks for joining the channel and make sure if you like this you check out some of the other videos I've done. Some instructional ones, some tuitional ones and some is just me showing you some great off-piste, some great skiing that you can have around Alpe d'Huez which is where all of this is going to be filmed at the moment. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks very much. Oh my gosh, every step was worth it. Oh.